Hey YouTube, good to have a video a day just now. Uh, I'm aiming for the hungover people uh, after New Year. Watch these. Um, so I've seen these before. Like I've built this sort of travel guitars. Um, I made this I don't know about a year ago when I first saw the picture of them. Were like three hundred quid or something. Um, so I was like, basically I just made this when I came home from work one afternoon for a laugh. It's just a piece of it's an off cut of a joist, a piece of wood I was using from work. Um, I couldn't quite. It's not obviously you get but. That's the, the width of the piece of wood. So that bit there, you see, you see it's, it's glued on. That's the only, um, so that's a separate piece, but all the rest one piece, so it's a one piece body. Yeah, just made a pine and just, I just jigsawed it out. I, I intentionally made the neck join like this. See this bit, this extra bit, so it was somewhere good to put the strap because I was envisaging it being quite difficult, having been very neck heavy. And it's, it's not bad, you can kind of put that that bit there kind of sticks against your back. So this one doesn't have a stra uh, a trim, just a solid block. And basically, obviously, I just drew around this scratch plate and then jigsawed it out. Yep. So, sound-wise, um, these are uh, pickups from a 12-string Hondo from years ago. I've done videos of this guitar years ago, but now I think I'm, I've done something else to it. I think I might sell it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll try and use clean on my amp, but for some reason every time I try and use it in the, any videos, it distorts in the camera. So, although it's a Strat and it does do good clean sounds, they sound shit in the camera, so I'm just using distorted sounds. Rap, rap pedal. <laughs> turning the distortion off just for a wee bit and try and play it quiet. Now these sounds are, they're all there. Must be intentionally playing really quiet to try and not so it doesn't make the camera fart. Middle. Then these two on. Yeah. So Basically, I'm only I'm only using one of the coils on this pickup just now. From Strat says this is just really the, the the first part of the video where I'm basically saying yeah, it's still a guitar even though it doesn't have a body. It's fine. It's a Strat, right? So these two pickups to get a humbucker, you need to one of them has to one of the pickups has to be um, reverse wound and reverse polarity. Which is often you often get in a strat set, you get in modern ones, so when you've got it in position two between the two, it's hum cancelling. But I've worked out a switch that you can put them in series, which makes them turn, instead of being just hum cancelling, they actually are a humbucker. So what I've done is here the pick the all the ones that are the same direction, this one, this one, and the, the coil of this are all connected to the five way switch the way a strat would be. Right? So when you're on the a single coil in the bridge. You can flip the switch. Then that activates the other coil, the one that's reverse wound in series, to make that into a humbucker. Then, which is probably what you'd expect um, with that sort of pickup, but it doesn't go in series with the other coil, the way it would in a humbucker, it goes in series with the with this switch. So whatever you've got this switch set to, all these all these pickups are like uh, you know I said they're all positive polarity, whatever it is, and that one is reverse wound. So whatever pickup you choose out of the three, it's got that in series with it. So it's a humbucker using those pickups. That makes sense. So it does ten sounds. So basically, you've got your this is single coil, three single coils. <laughs> Right, that's it. This act, this other coil activated in now. Back to that, that's it off. Yep, 
so when you're in the neck position with this switch up you're in series with the hum cancelling in here so you've actually got a wide range humbucker neck position this, this is it off this is single coil yep so that's like a humbucker with using that coil and this coil and then if you put it into position two which would be these two it's these two in parallel with each other but in series with this so it's still a humbucker using these two as one yeah and then that one is using this coil and this coil and then that one is this coil this coil this. yeah so it's got lots of sounds in it <laughs> Like a normal guitar, it's great. Um, even see when you're sitting down because it's like that's the shape a strat is, it sits on your leg pretty good. No, I'm general Jeff Rotel on it, but you know, when you're sitting down, pretty good as well. Um, I think I'm going to make one, but I quite fancy making a headless one, you know, or maybe buy a I mean, do you like those bridges, maybe a bit bigger than that. It's just one of those things that's like the I've got a mini strat as well, so you could use this as like a you know, a travel guitar or something, but. I don't have a case for this. I would have to use a normal case, and it's the same with the mini strat. So you're taking like a full size case with a small guitar in it. You might as well just take a full size guitar. But this is surprisingly like a good strat. Sorry, if you go in strat mode. So am I going to sell this? I don't know. I'll do the video for selling it anyway. So I, I make. I, I, I apologise anyway for the headstock with my name written on it, black pen. Uh, the headstock in this was a sort of really weird flying V type shape thing, and it had been modified and it looked hack it, and then it, it didn't look any better after I'd done that. So it's kind of that shape. The neck itself is pretty good though. It's kind of like a gloss finished rosewood board, and it's it's a nice neck. It's just the, because of the headstock, I got it free or I got it for a fiver or a tenner or something stupid. Uh, new tuners on it. Well, they were new when I built this last year. New bridge. My favourite kind of bridge. Um, kind of like a, they're really cheap from China. Uh, too strong like a Telecaster. Obviously, this is all just, you can see there, there's no finish on this whatsoever. That is naughty pine. Which will, it'll age over years and it'll go orange probably. <laughs> um, so these pickups are from a Hondo 12 string that I had years ago that I put rails in and this rail are these amazing pickups you buy from China they're really cheap and they're pure rocking they really give like a strat a weak strat is such a boost and then I've got my switch there for that adds in the humbuck goes into humbucking mode so you get five single coil sounds and then five humbucking sounds the uh, volume tone and sacrifice the other tone because that's you needed somewhere to put the jack input uh, from selling, I suppose I should be honest and say that the jack input is really, really, really tight. It doesn't make a noise in that, you just have to pure thump it in. Like that, <laughs> to make it work. Yeah, so, I, I don't know what to ask for that. I mean, it's, it's got all the novelty value of the, you know, the one that's £300 or whatever it is. It's just as cheesy, apart from it's made very obviously from a piece of wood. Quite, quite roughly done but it plays like a real guitar it's a total surprise you could totally use this to trump someone with a thousand pound less pawn stuff and go oh, i'll just play this and it's like it's keeping up <laughs> Maybe it's because it doesn't have this bit here. Well, it doesn't have anybody. Because it doesn't have this bit, it kind of reminds me of like my Ibanez Destroyer. 
when it's like generally heavy metal guitars, you know, like sort of destroyer shapes that don't have a bit here. So you, oh. Right, rock on! <laughs> 